YouTube removed the Lone Gunman Theory video from my channel on the grounds that it was hate speech. They say I have a community guideline strike warning and next time this happens I won't be able to post videos for a week. So you can read here their hate speech whole spiel and the description that I had for the Lone Gunman Theory, which I still have the Lone Gunman Theory 2 up on my channel, but I mean, I've, I've had this video up for how many months now? And they just take it down. You can read what it was about. You know, and it should have been right there in between the Lone Gunman Theory 2 and how to prepare for infrastructure collapse. And they completely deleted it so that I, I can't even, it's not even private for me to see. They completely deleted it off of my channel. So this is what I sent them as a response. I'm a son of the American Revolution. I will always defend free speech. What I said in that video in question was not hate speech. I even showed proof from the FBI website that nobody died in that year in town where Sandy Hook was located in Newtown, Connecticut. I presented facts and facts don't care about your feelings. They only let me have 300 characters so that was 299 and that's what I sent them as an appeal and you can see it says appeal submitted but they put this against me on the 20th and they said I had seven days to respond with my appeal to keep the video up or whatever so yeah this is getting ridiculous. We cannot allow Google, Facebook, YouTube, and the likes to censor free speech when they weren't doing this for the first, what, 10 years that these social networks were out? At least YouTube, you know? But now they're cracking down because they say that YouTube was referring people to too many conspiracy theory videos. So now they got an algorithm set up that, you know, is attacking people that are speaking the truth and presenting evidence and living in a world of facts and seeing patterns and identifying them and using science because the corporate overlords, the technocratic plutocracy, they, they don't want us speaking the truth. And they don't want people learning the truth. That's why they keep putting all these new, you know, media reports all over. I mean, the, the, the mainstream media reports that you would see on cable television are now being promoted on YouTube. And, and they're burying the truth and, and the individual researchers that are making content, they're burying them in their algorithm of how they're running YouTube now. You know, and they're shadow banning people. They're giving people copyright strikes. And, you know, it's just ridiculous, man. I mean, we have to uphold our constitutional rights, you know. And that's not just in everyday life. That's over the internet too. Because this is a new thing that they're doing. And there's already Republican politicians that are filing lawsuits against the likes of Google, Facebook, you know, for swaying elections by manipulating the search results. You know? I mean, it, that's what's really happening. So... I just wanted to give y'all a quick update about that. They removed one of my videos that I spent some time doing research and 
putting together. So, yeah, I might have to start looking to bit shoot instead of YouTube. At least they take pride in letting their users have free speech online and, and not using, you know, just asinine tactics to say that stuff is hate speech and, you know, trying to create this virtual safe space because people get offended when they hear the truth because it doesn't fit with their paradigm. So, anyway, I'm Mizra Morris, and thank you for tuning in to Revolt Records. Please like and subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.